we can expect from Stanton season two, old characters, new characters, a new member of the Hayward family, goodies, baddies, dancing, balls, seaside, romance and scandal. Charlotte Hayward, my sister, Miss Alison Hayward. So Alison grew up in Wellington and I think being second eldest was a bit jealous of Charlotte and her adventures to Sanderson. So was just like dying to go and have her own chance. Alison comes to Sanderson really with the goal of finding a man and marrying him. That's what she reads about in all of her romance novels. So for her, that's how to achieve ultimate happiness. Within it, she's also discovering a lot about herself. Love is not as simple as you seem to think. Why should it not be? At the start of season two, Colburn is in a very isolated place from the rest of Sanditon. He has to become a father without his wife. He doesn't really interact with many people apart from Mrs Wheatley, his housekeeper, his daughter Leonora and his niece Augusta. You gradually, hopefully, will see lots of different sides to him. Colburn meets Charlotte when she decides to apply to be the governess for Leonora and Augusta. This is better be worth it, child! We first meet Augusta when she is running through a field chasing after Leonora on one of their crazy but probably very irresponsible expeditions. She is a bit of a rebel, cheeky, she's sly and she's super clever. See what I have made, just for Miss Hayward. She feels like she can outsmart Charlotte in certain ways. I actually think what she doesn't realise is Charlotte is just as smart as she is, if not smarter. There's the Colonel. The army comes to town in series two, which brings a whole host of young, handsome red coats for our female characters to meet. Captain Carter meets Charlotte's sister, Alison, and she catches his eye. Thank you. Give me the honour of this next dance. He is a fairly privileged young man in the army, and I think kind of with this privilege that brings a sense of immaturity, despite his rank. But he's a decent and compassionate person with his flaws. And seeing Alison for the first time is like completely taken away with her. Colonel Lennox leads the battalion that's stationed in Sanderton. He quite quickly runs into Charlotte and she really catches his eye. He's a real beast of the military. He fought in Waterloo. He really made a name for himself there. So some people might view him as a war hero, but Lennox is yearning for something different. When he comes to Sanderton and meets Charlotte Hayward, he finds her instantly quite beguiling and can't really stop himself from pursuing her. We cannot leave ourselves so open to intruders. Captain Fraser is an army captain. He's a veteran of many battles and he arrives into Sandton with Colonel Lennox's regiment. I think the army brings with it great excitement. There's great spectacle to the whole thing. They have their wonderful uniforms and parades and regimental balls. Oh, it's you. Pleasure to see you too, Miss Hayward. When Fraser first meets Alison, he's intrigued by her. He enjoys teasing her and she enjoys giving it back and their relationship develops from that. Good morning, Mr. Lockhart. It is, Mr. Parker. Nothing like the sting of salt on skin to rouse the senses. Charles initially comes to Sanderson to paint the wealthy and he immediately falls for Georgiana. Come with me. I think Charles is probably the most modern of all the characters. He never has a cane, he never wears a hat. I sort of tried to really force that I'd have the longer sideburns in Sanditon. When a character like that penetrates a sort of sleepy seaside resort like Sanditon, it means that he completely shakes up everyone's sort of view of Regency England. It's been a joy, but I've loved every second of it. 